What's up guys, I made a recent video showing you how to install and use Fastboot on your Nexus devices. I wanted to make another video showing you how to use ADB and ADB can be really useful guys if you want to pull a file off your device, if you want to push a file to your device, if you want to install an APK without using the Android market and also if you want to sideload a zip in a custom recovery, it's all really useful. Now I should mention you don't need root to use ADB but you will need to do some stuff on your device so that's the first thing I'm going to mention. You want to go into your settings guys and you want to go to developer options and click USB debugging. Make sure that is ticked. If you want to install APK files you will also need to go to security and tick the unknown sources uh, tab right there. You need to tick that, it needs to be ticked. So once those things are done you are good to go. I am going to assume guys you've already got the Android SDK from using Fastboot and I'm going to assume you've already got the drivers already installed. If you haven't go watch my other video. So. Um, yeah, now what you want to do guys is head over to your Android SDK, mine is around here somewhere, here we go, go into platform tools, hit up command prompt, and the first thing you want to type is ADB devices guys, and you want to see if your device is attached, and you can see there's my device, if it wasn't attached this wouldn't appear, this line here, so I know my device is ready to go. Now the first thing guys I want to show you is the ADB push command, so I'm going to uh, push a file from my computer here to my device. Now the first thing I also want to show you is that I don't have the um, I don't have, uh, well I'm going to send an APK called Gamma to my downloads and you can see at the moment it isn't there. There is no Gamma.APK there so I'm going to send it. Now the first thing you want to do is type in ADB push and hit the forward slash and now you want to write your local destination of the file you want to send. So I know mine is in test slash and then the, the name. So if I go to that directory here, whoops, didn't mean to press games. If I go to that directory here, you can see slash test, there it is, and there's the file I'm going to send. Now you want to leave a space and you want to put the remote destination. So I want to put it on the SD card and in the download file. Hit enter, you'll see it tells you it's done and the uh, time it's sent and if I go to that folder now you'll see I now have the Gamma APK is there. So yeah that's worked, it pushed it really nicely, that's how you can push files to your Android device using ADB. I should also mention ADB does work over wireless, you can get apps that uh, have ADB over wireless so you don't even have to have it connected. Next up guys I'm going to show you the ADB pull command, so we're going to pull a file, well we're going to pull a picture actually and I know where it is. ADB pull, so you want the the uh, remote destination first this time, so you want SD card slash downloads or downloads, so make sure you get these 100% right otherwise it won't work, and I called it money.jpg, now you want the local destination of the file to be saved at, and I want to save it in slash test, hit enter, you can see here the uh, rate that it did it at, and let's go see if we now have that file in slash test, we do, there it is, shut up and take my money. So that is how you can use the ADB pull and push commands. What I'm going to show you now guys is how to install a file using ADB. So I'm going to install that Gamma APK and you can see here if I go to my G's that I don't have that Gamma APK installed, it is not in there, you can check it out, it's not there, it's not installed yet. So I'm going to use ADB to install this file. And if we do adb install, now we need the uh, location of the file, so I know it's in test slash gamma dot apk, hit enter, you can see there it's it's done, success, we've hit the success button, nothing happened on my phone, there was no going on, but if I go into the, uh, into the thing here, you can now see gamma apk is there, is now installed, that was as easy as it was to install an apk, this is going to be really useful guys if you want to install an APK that isn't on the Android market or for example if you want to install the Amazon uh, market or an app from the Amazon market you can do that using ADB. So uh, it's very damn useful. And those are pretty much the uh, things I'm going to show you here. What you want to do now if you have a custom recovery is uh, reboot into your custom recovery guys. I'm using TWRP. And this is the exact method I used because I I was stock and rooted, but I had, and I had a custom recovery, 
which meant I couldn't flash the 4.2.2 official update from Google. So what I did is ADB sideloaded it. So if you have a custom recovery, this is going to be really useful because you can install the official updates using a custom recovery using sideload. You want to hit advanced and you want to hit ADB sideload. You want to swipe to activate the sideload. And you can see now it is ready to accept files to be sideloaded. So what I've actually got here, guys, is if I've already I downloaded a ROM update to uh, show this to you. Uh, where is it? In the downloads. Um, I need both of these. I'll copy both of these. Just to make it easier, I'm just going to copy both of these because I can't be bother to write the uh, full thing out. And I'm going to put them in the directory where Fastboot is. And I'm also going to rename them because they're kind of long. I'm just going to write this one gapps.zip. And this one is going to be, we'll call it pa.zip. Right, so I'm going to sideload both of these using the ADB. So we are ready over here. We'll open up the um, the command prompt here, and we'll write ADB. Oh, firstly, we'll write ADB devices, and you'll see that now it is in side load instead of devices mode. So we'll write ADB devices, ADB ADB devices, ADB side load, and now you want your file name. So my file name is pa.zip. For example, if you were using the official Google update, it would probably just be uh, update.zip. You hit enter. You can see it's sending the side load. Obviously, it can take some time because the uh, side load is about 100 meg, 168, 169 meg. So I will skip to when this is done. You can see it's going up here, 26, 27, 28. Okay, guys, and we're back, and you can see it's 100%. The file has been sent, and now it's uh, the uh, custom recovery installing it. And you can see it's checking the MD5 file, doing all that stuff, and just installing like you would install or flash a normal zip now. So uh, that's the side load. Like I said, it's really useful if you're completely stocked but have a custom recovery because you can just side load the Google update because it doesn't usually let you flash it in the TWRP normally. So uh, side load is kind of cool. It's kind of useful. I've used it a lot of times and we'll just wait for this to uh, carry on. But that is the side load done there. You can see it says successful. So we are good to go. I also need to uh, side load my G apps because I need to do that, otherwise my ROM doesn't work. So gapps.zip. Whoops. That's what happens, by the way. Error closed if you're not in ADB side mode. I wasn't in the right mode on my custom recovery. Now we'll do the same thing. This time you can see it's sending the file. And that's it, guys. I'm not going to make you watch this one because you've seen it be successful already. But that's how you use ADB side mode. I hope this uh, video helps you use ADB. It's a really useful tool. Yeah. See you guys later.